What I want, please, what I want is Valerie's Naturals Oracle saying, let me fix you so that you can see everything. What I want, please, what I want. Let's clear the energies. I've got my coffee with me because I'm not a tea person and we're going to clear the energies. And I'm going to see what Spirit wants to say today. The last videos, if you didn't see it, I did a part one and two. And I thought I was bringing out the new person, but Spirit had other ideas. So let's see what Spirit wants to bring out now. Now that I've got that off my chest, and I even did a part two. <laughs> I'm going to see what else comes out. So let's clear the energies from the previous read, shall we? So. Let's do that again. Yes, thank you spirit, I love that. The frequencies, the frequencies clearing the air. And just a quick sage up because what I had last time was deep. I need to clear the energies from these cars and so it don't come back. So let's get some fresh energy, shall we people? Let's get some fresh energies. So if you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you know when I'm gonna do another video because if you've seen my last ones, you know they get deep, all sorts of nonsense come out, spirit attack, spirit attack. <laughs> anyway, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance and reading these cards. Please give us accurate, concise readings. Please clear any previous energies from these cards, especially the, the previous energy that we got from the last reading. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. So let's see what's going to come out here because I have no clue. I'm just being guided by Spirit now to see what comes out. So what I might do, first of all, is do the Moonology cards and see what comes out here. And what overall message we get. And I don't know if you know what the Moonology cards are, but that's them there. And um, they give some serious messages sometimes too. And I like to do overall messages because it, it sets the tone for whatever wants to come out, doesn't it? So... Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give me the message for the collective. Please give me the message for the collective. Thank you, Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give me the message for the collective. Please give us a message for the collective. I'd really like to talk about the new person again. But are you just going to deny me that, Spirit? <laughs> Tommy, time to take a brief out. A personal issue reaches a slash a resolution. I wonder what that is. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance. Protect. Communication is key. Time to brief out. That's coming out again. What's going on, Spirit? Let's tap, let's find out. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give me some message. I'm going to take out three cards to see what comes out. Let's see what messages Spirit has for us and see where we go from there. So... Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Please give us the message. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so let's get out three cards. So we've got, it's time to take action. A personal issue, see that's coming out again. A personal issue reaches a resolution. Let's take one from here. And communication is key. Oh, let's marinate on these cards a minute. Okay, let's just see. So we've got. It's time to take action and new moon in Aries. Now we're currently, we've just come out of Aries season, haven't we? We're in Taurus season now. So we've got a personal issue really um, reaches resolution and it says full moon in Cancer. Is it possible? But whatever you need to, res whatever resolution you need to make, it's going to happen in Cancer scene. And what's that, June, July? Yeah, and then you've got communication is key new moon in gemini so this gemini is after the taurus season isn't it do you know what i mean so what i've got here is take time to take action a personal issue reaches resolution does someone need to take action is it you or somebody else needs to take action is this actually about your new person please dear lord let it be about the new person somebody a, a, a personal issue reaches resolution so is there things that you know, we're going to have to um, clarify some of these cards because Spirit's got a message here for somebody and communication is key. Is this all about the communication that somebody's not giving you? I don't know. But what cards do we use? Because I've got, I've got the Cosmic Tarot. I've got the 
Tarot of the Old Path. Now, I love these because it brings out the Karma card. It brings out the Justice card. It brings out all sorts. I've also got Fantasy Tarot, which is a bit on the nudie side. But these two cards I'm actually selling. But I'm running out now. I'm down to my last one or two of each of these packs because... Um, and they're on my website. But um, these cards are fantastic. I love them. Especially this one. Tarot of the Old Path. It's a really unusual one. But I love it. I've also got here the Lightseer's Tarot, which I was selling, but I've run out of now. I was selling these and they run out. And it's the, the original. It's not no fake crap. It's the, the original I was selling. So, you know. Anyway, so I don't know which ones to go for. Should I go for the Fantasy Tarot or should I go for... I'm, I'm leaning towards the Fantasy Tarot. But because I don't use it very often, some of the pictures are still alien to me. So I might have to look them up at some point. So let's do that. Let's do that. Because we're all not perfect, are we? Do you know what I mean? I don't know every single tarot card. But I'm hoping we bring out a nice message here. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance, reading these cards. Please give us the message. Plus, please tell us why it's a time to take action is here. Please tell us why a personal issue reaches resolution. And why is key, key, communication is key is here. Please tell us, Spirit, why are these messages here? What do we need to know, Spirit? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Please give us the message. Thank you, Spirit. Please give us the message. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Please give us the message. What is going on? Oh, we got the High Priestess here. Oh, and the Ten of Pentacles. The High Priestess. And the, these pictures are a bit raunchy, but... We've got the high... Is this the high priestess or is this the... um? Oh, wait a minute. This... No, this is the justice. You see what I mean about these decks? Because you don't know. I have to double check that. Let me just double check that, people. Because... Because that is something else. No, that's the justice card. No. <laughs> You're going to get justice. Somebody's going to take action towards you. That's what it is. This is the Justice card, and this is the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever's happening, you are... Look, this looks like somebody who's getting married. Somebody who's, who's like, being prepared to be married or being prepared to go into a commitment. And look at all the Pentacles. Whatever she's doing, it's nothing but abundance. Look, Justice. Are you going to get Justice in a situation? And this is why you've got the Ten of Pentacles now. Oh, stop it. Let's get this story out. Spirit, let's get this story out. You see what I mean? These cards I don't know very well. I've only used them a couple of times because A, because I do a lot of TikTok. I can't use these on TikTok because they're too raunchy. But I can use them on YouTube. Do you know what I mean? As long as I put it on the over 18 thing. So look again. Look. One, two, three, four, five. We've got the six of pentacles here. Balance. And then you've got Oh, we've got the Queen of Wands. What's going on there? Do you know the Queen of Wands is my karmic card? We've got an unbalanced... Oh, no, don't please make me make this about the car. Because this you just being the action-packed person who ain't taking on nonsense. Let's hope it's that. Anyway, let's get some cards out. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance, reading these cards. Please give us the message. Thank you, Spirit. Please give us the message. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Please give us the message. So, you're going to have to bear with me with these cards because they're actually... They're very unusual. I can't remember where I found them. Oh, I know. Maybe it was on Amazon. But, um, like I said, they're called Erotic Fantasy Tarot. And they're not out-and-out out erotic, but they are a bit naked and scanty. And I'm hoping this brings out something different than the messages I've been getting in the last couple of videos. So, but it looks like it. This is all about... This is all about the boss bitch here. Let me see. We've got the world card here. Oh, we've got the King of Cups has come out. Oh, we got the Lovers. Oh, yes. I'm going to double check that is the Lovers, though, for real. Because, these, like I said, the images on these cards are a little bit samey-samey sometimes. So, at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. This is a love situation. Oh, maybe this is the new love situation. Look, this is... They're a bit raunchy, though, I have to say. Two of Cups here, look. This is a two energies as one even though you're seeing one person you see the dolphin when i see dolphins it's all about togetherness because they run in packs is this about your lover is this about soul tribe this is a somebody close to you a close friend that could be a soul tribe do you know what i mean but that's at the bottom of the deck let's get to the story shall we so 
first of all, we've got you as the Seven of Wands protecting yourself, but the karmic wheel is turning. Is it for the good or for the bad? Can you see that? Look, this is you defending yourself. Okay, my battery's going to die. Oh, no! I might have to start, I might have to do a part two, but this is you defending yourself. And this is the karmic wheel turning. This is the world card. You know, things are changing. So what is changing? You're protecting yourself, but things are changing. And what is changing? Oh, are well, you going to get the new beginning? Oh, no, look, there's two fours. There's the four of wands and the four of cups. This is the four of wands. This is the 11, 11 card. This is you being happy, stable. Do you know what I mean? But this is the 11. Have you found a twin flame? Is someone being divinely guided to you? This is the four of cups. Is someone being divinely guided to you? Is this that new person that's been divinely? Oh, because look, we got the hermit card here because... Somebody sees you that you're in hermit mode and you're keeping your mind in your own business. I'm going fast because the battery's dying here. But you're minding your own business here. And here comes this king of cups. Do you see how grumpy this person is, though? They, they have a lot of love for you, but they just like to hide it. Is this the new person or is this the old person? Because what we've got here is an emperor. We've got the Emperor and we've got the Lover's card. I'm going to double check. I have to double check that. VI, I'm sure that's the Lover's card. Oh, what's going on here, peeps? I'm sorry, because these cards are so alien to me. <laughs> yes, it's the Lover's card. And that is the Emperor. That is the Emperor, isn't it? This new person is going to be... Yes! This is them all about... That. See, thank you, Spirit. You'll bring out the new person today. <laughs> This person, they might be just hiding their feelings for you. They're just hiding who they are from you till they know till they get to know you better because they can see that you're kind of hibernating there. And you might have even had a conference. Maybe it's somebody you even know. You might have had a conversation with them and they know to hide this for the moment because look, there is the emperor. And look, you know what they say about pigs? This person's abundant <laughs> because... This person wants to be your love interest. Oh my goodness, they want to be your love interest. What is going on? Is it going to be? Oh my God. In the meantime, oh no. In the meantime, there's somebody who wants to rush in. Do you know what I'm getting here? The new person has come forward, right? But now we've got the player from the Himalayas sees competition and wants to come in. I've had this story before. This is what's going to happen. You've got a new person coming in. Or the new person might already be here and you don't even know it. They're just hiding from you and just watching you and seeing what you're like. But in the meantime, this new person wants to come in. Oh, Pete, you trapped in your head. You see that? That's the eight of wands. I want to keep you trapped in your head. So they're going to try wash it, run, rush in. It could be an F-boy, F-girl, the player from the Himalayas. The gigolo or the hole, the hole. <laughs> it wants to rush back in and give you a fresh starvation and keep you trapped in your head and give you all sorts of. They might even tell you what you want to hear, but they're trying to keep you from your old person, from your new person. They're trying to keep you from the new person. I want to go on, peace. What I go on. But you know that one of these is really your div grandly div guided person. And all you want to do is have a new, fresh, stable beginning. And look, you've healed yourself. This is the star card. This is also the Aquarius card. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. You just want to heal yourself and have a fresh start with this new situation. Or is it that you want to go back to your old person, that you want to heal the situation with your old person? You decide! But, either way, you've got to walk away from somebody. Because if you walk away from this person, look, that's nothing but sunshine. Because you know one of them is as slow as Marfo, and one is in hangman mode. This is your old person, this is your new person. New person is slow as a mouthful because they want to take your time and so they should. They want to get to know you just like you want to get to know this person. You've got to walk away from somebody because you know that if you do, you've got your sunshine coming in. This night of 
and pentacles is as slow as a mouthful but maybe they need to be slow because the other person is in hangman mode and doesn't quite know what to do they want to rush in and be the jigger the player from the himalayas but they know that you're wise to that crap oh what that one piece what that one i really want to know what this new person is going because somebody is up in their head now and they're burdened they're burdened because they can see that you're at a crossroads. You're at a crossroads. And look at this King of Swords. This island logical person wants to come in and give you trouble. What the hell? Because they're watching you. This is the page. They're watching you like a marfo. Yes, look, let me show you something. Somebody is burdened and trying to soldier on. Somebody is at a crossroads, which I think is you because you're going to have choices. This... King of Swords, who is highly logical, but knows how to communicate. They're highly logical. They're up in their head. They know how to play the chess games. They want to come in, but in the meantime, they're watching you. This is the person in hangman mode. Oh, what a one piece, what a one, because they see, they feel left out in the cold. They are plotting and planning there. What a go on, what a go on, because they want to keep, they want to keep juggling. Look, this is the two of pentacles. They want to keep juggling you and keep you trapped in your head. Do you know what? Why are we going back to the old person? We're talking about the new person. The new person here is going to be slow and taking their time because that's how it should be, really. You should be just getting to know it. You should be dating. You should be getting to know each other. But I want to see now. What is going to come out? I want to know about the new person. What is the new person thinking? I'm going to get my cards out and my battery's going to die any minute. So if it does, I'm going to go to a part two. But, um, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, please tell us about the new person. What is the new person thinking about you? Please tell me. And it could get raunchy. It could get raunchy because this person might have been watching you for a while and you don't even know. Or it could be somebody you know casually in passing. Or it could be a complete stranger. But it looks like this person is being divinely guided to you. And um, they just want to take their time and get to know. You want to get to know each other. You could be dating. You could be like just seeing each other. You could be just be talking. And what I'm getting here. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of ones here. So this could be happening either in the current. Or it could be in the near future. There's a lot of ones here. Yeah. When I see ones. I see a, in the near future. In the near future. That is happening because want is all about quickness, it's about speed, it's about forward thinking, it's far, it's forward, it's fast movement. So this could either be current or it could be in the future. So what does your person want to say? Or is the old person going to come up? Because this is all about the higher self. These cards are about the higher self, about the 5D, about what they really want to say and they're not saying. Okay, so let's take out a couple of cards. Okay, let's see what comes out. Because this is ridiculous. I just want to F you. I want to make love to you. This is your new person. They're not. This is what their higher self is saying. Oh, the starvation of it all. I wonder if they got stabbed in the past, past as well. Is that your old person? You were made for me. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? This is a mix between give it up to divine. Give it up to divine. I'm going to take one more card out. I don't know if this battery's going to die on me, though. Please don't die. Please wait for me. That's your old person. This is a mix between your new and your old. This is what's going on here. See, again, two people are coming out. Choices, my people, choices. Let's talk about the new person, though. So, we've got, give it up to divine. Now, if it's this, this is your new person, right? It's in divine timing, isn't it? All that is about is divine timing. This is your old person saying, wait for me. They want to come in, but they're plucking up the courage to do that. I just want to F you. This is your old person here. So I'm going to put them in different queues. I just want to make love to you. This could be your new person. But they're being gentle about it. They're not telling you that. They just want to make love to you. But you were made for me. This may be your new person. This could be the two of them. This could be both of them. And then the starvation of it all. This is your old person. This is definitely your old person. Either this is the old person that stabbed you or is this the person, the old person being the victim now, playing the victim and saying you stabbed them instead of they stabbing you. They feel stabbed in the back because it's a missed opportunity, as you saw at the bottom of the deck. I have no idea what's going on here. But you've got two people here. You've got two people here. Let's find out who this emperor is. I wonder if it will give us more information about this emperor. And please don't die on me, Battery. I want to go. Before. I want to do this in one take. Please don't die, Battery. Please don't die. Let's find out about this um, emperor. Let's see who this emperor is. So I'm going to get out the Lightseer's Tarot. 
right, let's quickly shuffle. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, please tell us who this Emperor is. Is this the new person? Thank you, Spirit. This is the new person. This is a boss man or a boss bitch who are actually um, the money man, the money people. They're financially attractive as well as being attractive. And they're stable and reliable. And they're the boss bitch, the boss man. Please tell us about this Emperor. Please tell us. Because it could be, a, you know, the, the, the female counterpart is the Empress. So, the Emperor and the Empress. But I'm telling you, this twins has come out here as now as well. Because I'm telling you, you're being defensive, but the world is turning. You don't have to be defensive anymore because you're going to get your 11-11. You're going to get your twin flame, your soulmate, the person, the connection that you're supposed to have. And it's all to do with this Emperor. So let's find out who this Emperor is before I go. Let's find out who this Emperor is. Let's give us some information about this Emperor spirit. Please tell us this is about the new person. Please tell us about Is this the new person for real, though? Is this the new person? Please tell me, Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Please tell us about this Emperor. I'm dropping cards like flies now. Please tell us about this new person. Oh, there's somebody going to rush into you. And the Emperor cards come out again. This is, person is definitely your Emperor. Oh my god, they see you as this action-packed forward person. They see you, but they see that you've had hurt and pain, so that's why they're taking their time. They've seen that somebody gave you a fresh damnation. And you might have even had the conversation about this with this person. Look, they can see that you've had this. And you know what? Sometimes, even though you've got the Knight of Swords here, who do like to rush in? It's not necessarily that they're going to rush in and um, actually try and scoop you up. But although it did say, I want to make love to you. Do you know what I mean? But again, the Emperor's come out on top of the Emperor. It's just spirit confirming. This person's an Emperor and they will take their time with you. They understand because they may have had a fresh... Maybe both of you have had a fresh damnation from other people. And it's like they want to take their time with you. And this is what this is all about. This is about... This is the new person for Defo. They see you as this action-packed person. And although they want to rush in, they will take their time. Do you know what I mean? They will take their time with you. That is a beautiful message. There's a new person coming in for you. Or you, they're already here and you don't even know it. Somebody's watching you. Somebody who's here. Somebody who's taking their time with you. Because they can see your action pattern. And they can see that you've had some kind of trauma in the past. Or, or somebody's hurt you. Or you got a stabation from somebody. But your old person is still trying to come through. They're still they're seeing the competition. You see, look. Here is the gigolo, the, the, the player from the Himalayas. They're trying to come in. They want to come in because they now have competition. The competition they are. <laughs> and they're up in the air. They, they're up in the air. Look at this. This is, this is self-imposed. They did this to themselves. They gave themselves a starvation in their mind and physically. And now they're up in the air. They can't sleep. They're haunted. They want to come in. They want to rush in and give you the jiggle jiggle. Because the want is a phallic symbol as well. They want to give you the jiggle jiggle. They want to juke you up with us up. Mm. <laughs> they want to give you the panadi. They want to give you the pipe. They want to park their car in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Valerie. <laughs> but they're up in the head, and this is their own entrapment. And them did this to themselves because they should have never played the game with you in the first place. So I'm leaving it there, people, because that's too much. <laughs> way too much so if you have not subscribed yet why not hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you know when i'm gonna do another video and i'm even drink my coffee here's my coffee mm. Mm. and just remember like i said in the last video there's scammers out there please only if you're gonna book readings with me or if you're well you know i'm but i'm selling stuff i'm selling palo Santo, i'm selling sage i'm selling um tarot cards they're running out now though so if you want your tarot cards get in there quick but there's scammers out there so if you're gonna book a reading with me please only book it through the website and i will contact you after that okay because it will be from my email but What's happening is they're, they're very clever. They're changing my email address so it looks like me, Valerie's Naturals Oracles, but they might put a dot in here, there, or something, whatever. And I've had, do you know, I'm, I'm getting suspicious things like people are just saying things to me that are making it sound like... I, I had somebody email me and say, oh, thank you for the reading. I said, what reading? 
I said, what reading? I didn't do your reading. I've not done a reading in the past week deliberately because I'm working on my college work. So I've deliberately not done any reading. So whoever, you know, there's people, there's scammers out there. I'm even thinking about turning off my comments where I don't want to because I like to interact. Do you know what I mean? If I see some nice comments, I like to interact. So it's not, it's not nice. So if you really, really, really want a reading, and just to let you know, there's testimonials on my website as well. If you're unsure, there's testimonials of people, what have people said about my readings. You can go and check it out before you book. So please only book through the website. There are scammers out there, and that's a public service announcement. So... If you haven't subscribed also, please subscribe because we do, although sometimes I can make it funny, they are real messages. They are messages from spirit and spirit has got messages out there for people. And these messages are for me too. So anyway, let's go. That's enough of that. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was enlightening for you and it gave you a message that some of you have got new people coming in and you're still having to fight off the old person because they're going to try and come in with the competition. Because <laughs> they see it as a competition. They don't see you as a person. They see you as possession. This is the message I'm getting. Your old person sees you as a possession and unless they're thinking, if they can't have you, nobody else can have you. They're going to do their damnedest to do whatever they're doing. So anyway, I'm going now before this battery runs out. Take care, people. And nam yo ho renge kyo.